Hello, it's Rado, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. A lot of people ask me while I stream on the weekends, how can I join your private group? Are you playing in open? I don't want to play in open. I want to play in a private group. How do I create one? And then, how do I add my friends into a private group? So this video is all about that. Creating a private group, inviting your team members to a team, playing collaboratively, and a little bit of private group management. Elite is fun with friends, I'm sure you'll agree. Even before Elite Dangerous Odyssey hit us about 12 months ago, we played consistently uh, either in open or in private groups in the standard Elite Dangerous slash Elite Dangerous Horizons. Now Odyssey has hit, especially for PC players and um, those people thinking of transferring from console to PC, I thought I'd put a quick video about how to join a private group, how to create a private group. There are plenty of areas in Odyssey where you can join and play collaboratively. Base missions, missions in space, combat missions, trade missions, where one guy is doing the trade and you're doing the protection. There are many, many applications for having fun in a team. So it's well worth doing if you're, if you're into it. So let's get on. Okay, so here I am with my alternative account. Commander, Commander Ricardo. <sighs> Wish I could change that. Anyway, not to worry. What am I going to do? Into social. Uh, and there's my friends list. Haven't got many friends on this particular account. I don't use it very often. It's for exploring Colonia. Into groups. Great. And you can see the option there. Create a private group. So you want to host a game. You want to create a private group for you and your buddies and other commanders to play in. I always select automatically approve requests, set that to off, and off, have it set to friends only. You don't want every commander, Tom, Dick, and Harriet joining your game and potentially ganking you, right? That could really spoil your day. Confirm group creates the private group. It's as simple as that. Then it comes down to the fact of, well, what are you gonna do with that group? If you look at other groups I'm a member of, for example, I've got Simons here. He's got a load of people already added in and he plays with this particular group. Great. Um, what are we going to do? So you've got a couple of options to add people in. People can either search for the group to join um, once they've added you in as a friend, or you can indeed search for that particular individual. So I'll type in the name of my alternative account once I can spell it correctly. Hit search. And you can see I was active an hour ago. Hit that. You can see I can invite it to the private group. That's inviting that commander to the private group. Brilliant. Once I've done that, great. I'll have to go and select that group. And once I've selected that group, I can then say, yes, I approve to be added to that group. Now, you as an administrator, you can disband the group and you can re recreate the group if you wanted to. So let's go back and let's show that stage again. We're going to create a private group. Bam. Make sure automatically approve is off, friends only, and there's my group, Commander Ricardo. No members in it at all, whatsoever. So, like I say, what I've got to do now is I can go to my friends list, I'm going to select my alternative account, and invite them to my private group. Great. Done. They're going to get an invite to join my private group, which they're going to have to accept. Right then, this is the account that I have just added into my private group, my main account. So what do you do? Into social, you'll see an exclamation mark next to groups. Select groups. You'll see an exclamation mark next to pending invites and a tick or a cross, whether you want to accept or not. If you accept, join the group, click on the cross, you will not. You can also leave the group at any time if that particular group is not for you. Nice and simple. exactly what it says on the tin now. So now the person's in our group. This is the commander who created the group. You can see the commander is now joined the group and where they are in the Elite Dangerous Galaxy. Great. Now what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna invite them 
into the team. Now you can see them there at the bottom, right? Invite to team from the comms menu and a team request has been sent. So on the other commander now, they will get the option to either say, yes, I want to join you and play cooperatively. Elsewhere would you be in the team? And you can see a little one next to the invite. Click on the tick and that commander name will appear at the top of the screen. There you go. You can now share missions, play together if you're in the correct vicinity, or generally talk over in-game comms as well. So that's how to create a private group, join a private group, and add somebody to a team in Elite Dangerous slash Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Good for new commanders. Always good for a little bit of refresher as well. I hope I've explained it eloquently enough. Um, we use it a lot on the weekends on the streams and we have loads of fun. And Elite Dangerous is great fun with other commanders as well. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you soon, if not on the streams on the weekends.